So you beautiful people, in today's video we are going to be creating nine secret weapons in Call of Duty Modern Warfare. Now one of them is on the screen, this is the Org A1 and if you was a big fan of Black Ops 1 you would have used this in that particular game and it was a massive favourite of mine in that game also. We're also going to be creating stuff like the M16A4, the MP5SD and the AK74U so stay tuned. A slight disclaimer before we continue with the video now I'm creating these particular we weapons in the gunsmith in a private match now you can use these weapons in the multiplayer mode of the game but you will need to unlock all the attachments before you can re recreate these classic guns also another disclaimer is I am no in no shape or form a weapons expert so if I do get any terminology or any ammunition or stuff wrong for any of these weapons that I make then I do profusely apologize but please correct me down in the comment section and give us the correct information so we all can gain knowledge from this video so let's make the org first which is one of my favorite weapons in call of duty of all time so we'll start a new one and we'll head over to what it is in this game which is a smg over to the gunsmith and the first thing you're going to want to do is change the barrel to the 622 millimeter long barrel then for the optic, I believe it's the integral sight that I popped on. Uh, there you go. And then I like to change the stock to the ultra light hollow. And then for ammunition, you'll need the 5.56 NATO 30 round magazine for this one. And there you have it, guys. We have the classic org that you would have used in Call of Duty uh, Black Ops, which is the Org A1, one of my favorites. And this will now turn this particular weapon into a assault rifle. So next up on the list, we're going to make a quite weird scar. So let's head over to the actual scar itself. Uh, so using the Skarmalite H, you can turn this into a SMG which is known as the Skarmalite MK16 PDW. Now the first thing you'll need to do for this is put the TAC CQC Pro on and you can see straight away that will shorten your barrel. Also we're going to need to change the stock to the collapsible one and that will now give us a SMG. But we're going to go a bit further than that. Pop on, uh, we'll put the flash guard on for the muzzle. And I'd like to have a grip on this just to make it look that bit more like the uh, MK16 PDW. And that is a, another awesome looking weapon. Now, obviously, changing things like this will drastically change the stats of the weapon. But it won't ultimately change it to that particular weapon that we're making. Now, it will obviously shortening the barrel on this weapon it will make the get the gun so it does ads faster but it will make your range uh, sh slightly shorter so just might want to bear that in mind if you do create any of these weapons they are going to act as such as smgs or lmgs whatever you change them to but they're not actually going to drastically change the sound of the weapon that's probably what i'm trying to say really so that is the mk 16 PDW uh, for the Skarmalite. So the AK-47, now this is quite a versatile weapon in this particular game because it can make three different weapons just from the, and that's separating the AK-47. AK so you've got four weapons. The AK-47 will make the uh, AK-12 first, which you'll need to put the uh, Spetsnaz uh, Elite Barrel on. Then straight away you can see that's altered the, tr the look of the gun straight away. Now the AK-12 you uses uh, 5.44 rounds I believe a uh, 45 beg your pardon that was I was close and there you go the magazine straight away looks very very familiar to most of you and then just to give it that more modern look you're probably going to want to put the close quarters stuck on or the ultralight I'm going to go for the ultralight now the only thing that you can't change is the wooden handle I mean you can put one of the uh, stippled or granulated grips so it looks a bit more authentic but it's still ultimately going to have an AK-47 stuck on so that is how you would make a AK-12 in this particular which is basically a modern version of the AK-47 
So moving on, one of the ones that you guys are really going to like is the AKS-74U or the AK-74U as most of you will refer to it. So you're going to need to put the 8.1 inch compact barrel on and drastically changes the weapon straight away as you can see. It hasn't got the classic grip that we know and love from uh, COD 4 and stuff like that. Um, you can make it look more like the one from Black Ops. Uh, with no stock or you can put the skeleton stock on which is what i like to do now this will obviously alter the ak-47 so it'd be much more of an aggressive weapon now aims down sight a lot faster you'll be able to be much more mobile with it um but that is pretty much oh we're going to change uh, the magazine aren't we no we'll, we'll put the 40 mount mag on and that is basically your aks 7 u we can also change this into uh if we go over to the stock put that on we're going to change this into an lmg so 75 round mag on um don't really need that on and then we're going to put on the rpk and the on the barrel the bipod bipod and there we have an rpk so several guns you can make just from utilizing the ak-47 and that is a nice nice weapon i really do like this one now the next one is going to be for my fellow countrymen and that is going to be the s80 the sa87 which would be a l86a2 i don't know why they've chose to change it maybe they couldn't get the rights to the actual weapons um name that uh, and we're going to turn this into a L85 and it's quite simple really you change the barrel to the 18.2 inch factory uh, I like to change a stock as well to this one here the um, tack and then we'll, we'll pop, pop on the on the barrel we'll put on that grip there and there is a l85 this now becomes an assault rifle instead of an LMG obviously it's got the 5.56 times 45 millimeter nato rounds in um but it comes as a, a standard issue it comes as a 30 round mag so you're probably not going to want to change that at all so next up we're going to do the m16 for you guys because i know a lot of people have been requesting this weapon or how to make it but we're not going to do the one that you've been seeing everywhere on youtube because i don't think that's a true representation of an m16 we're going to make the m16 a4 here so a lot of people are putting the grenadier on um which yes it does really look look really nice but we're gonna put the core corvus custom marksman on which should look really familiar to most of you straight away as an m16 barrel this is probably the one that you'd see in uh, modern warfare 2 uh, if you didn't have a grenade launcher on so we'll pop that one on uh, then we're going to move over to the stock pop the m16 stock on and then we're going to put the uh we, they haven't really got the iron sight for the M16 on here, so we're going to go for the, the the hollow sight there just to make it look like your traditional cod kind of uh, what's it called. Um, what else we're going to do? Muzzle brake. We'll put the flash guard on, and then in true tradition, you go over to the perks and put burst on, and there you have the wonderful M16 a4 and it's uh it's such a stunning weapon isn't it it's absolutely brilliant so moving forward guys we are going to make one of the uh classics in the game a lot of you guys will love this weapon it's the mp5 sd and we're also going to make the mp5 ksd as well so the mp5 sd is one that you should be familiar with from cod 4 it is the classic mp5 with a silence run and this one is very very simple for you guys to make head over to the mp5 um, just to mention about the m16 sorry i'm getting ahead of myself here for the m16 you will actually get a blueprint at level 156 uh, for that particular weapon for you to just literally select it and it will make an m16 for you guys just forgetting about that there so Let's go on to the MP5. And for this one here, you literally need to change the barrel to the subsonic integral. And there you got there you have it. The COD 4 MP5 SD. Isn't it an absolute beauty? That brings back so many memories for a lot of you, I guarantee. And just to make this over to the um 
MP5 KSD. You need to put the FFS Mini on. Then you're gonna head over to the muzzle. We're gonna put the tactical suppressor on, and then we're gonna change the stock to the collapsible collapsible one. And then we're also going to pop on, in terms of lasers, the TAC laser. And then if we give a good old viewing of this, there you go, the MP5 KSD. Now, remember, all of these are available for you guys to use in the actual game. But you will need to grind these weapons out to actually have the attachment. So it's just a video, a, tu a tutorial to show you guys how you need to make these weapons. So... Anytime you need to make them, reference this video and it will show you. I'm pretty sure there are much more weapons that I can unearth if I really go through. But these are what I've found so far in the weapons. And I was more interested in some of these than others anyway. So that's why I've chose to do these particular weapons. So guys, there are many buttons you can hit. But a like and subscribe. Oh, before we do that actually, let me know down in the comment section which is your favourite weapon out of all of these weapons that I've created and, and name a weapon that you would like to be able to create in this particular game out of the weapons obviously that are here. Guys, there are many buttons you can hit but a like to subscribe button, I hope they took your fancy and as always guys, don't forget to stay on the right track. Peace.